I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. Oh my god! This is okay. unbelievable! Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. This weekend, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, helping out first-time homeowners with their master bedroom. Casey and Josh bought this house within the last year, and they've been actually DIYing and working their way through the hole downstairs, and yet their master bedroom, nada, nothing zilch. In typical Weekender fashion, I have five awesome projects planned, and we are gonna pull off one massive transformation by the end of this weekend. Hey, I'm Josh. And I'm Casey. We're first time homeowners. We've been in this house for about a year and a half now. We've been slowly working to redo the different rooms in our house. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, we've redone the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, but when it comes to the bedroom... We've done nothing. Yeah, we're just kind of stuck. Yeah. We love to have people over, parties, events, and the last thing we've really waited to work on is our bedroom because that's just kind of for us. But now that I like see our bedroom, it is kind of embarrassing that we've done, we've done so much work on the rest of the house that we haven't done anything on the bedroom. Our bedroom door always stays closed. So hopefully after this weekend, maybe we'll be able to leave our bedroom door open so the guests can actually come in and check out what we have upstairs too. Okay, this feels really different. The rest of your house is kind of done. It feels like a completely different house all of a sudden in here. So what is going on with the master? This is the one room in the house it feels like just the two of us see and so it sort of just keeps falling to the bottom of the list. You guys gotta prioritize the two of you. I mean, you're a young, cute couple. This is not rocking a romantic vibe. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you're saying that hole in the wall is romantic. I am yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me a little bit about at the end of this weekend, what would you love to see in here? So right now the walls are beige. It doesn't have any of our own touches in here. It doesn't feel like it's, you know, the re like the rest of our house. So we're just looking for something that we can come up here and feel like it's ours. Is there anything you really want to stay? Yeah, this is a, it's a family piece. So um, it's been around for a while. So we'd like to keep it. Okay, so like painting the wood is acceptable? Oh yeah, 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 let's bring it on. We have five big projects we're gonna work on this weekend. And between those five and then some little accessories and swap outs, I mean, it'll completely transform this space. I am very excited to see how it looks on Sunday. And the first thing we should do is clear out this room. Okay, all right, all right. let's do it. It's just so begging for a makeover. And it actually has me really excited so that this will be the last room that really completes their home. All right, guys, so we got this room cleared out. So what we're actually gonna do is rip out this carpet for you guys. <laughs> we're ripping out the carpet? We're ripping out the carpet. Putting hardwood in is gonna completely change the feel in here. It's gonna clean it up and just will give it a more sophisticated feel. So you guys are good with seeing that go? Oh, please, get rid of it. Get rid of <laughs> All it. All right. Removing carpet is a dirty job. I find the easiest way to do it is to start in a doorway since there's usually a seam there and then cut it into long thin strips with a utility knife rolling each of the strips up individually. And don't forget those pesky tack strips. They're gonna take a little bit of elbow grease. Our first big project includes a couple different treatments for the bedroom walls. We're painting three of the walls with Bohemian Lace. It's a great neutral from the HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams line. It's gonna completely rid the space of the yellow tone it had going on, giving us a crisp blank slate to work with. The last wall will be the focal point in the space with an accent wallpaper project that we're about to tackle right now. All right, we got our paint. We have everything we need here to work on your custom wallpaper. Cool. Okay, so we're using paintable textured wallpaper okay so give it a feel here so oh, yeah. a couple reasons why we're painting our own wallpaper it's gonna be a bit more work but it's gonna save us tons of money and be fully customizable all right so have you heard about shibori yeah it's like the indigo yes okay. it's indigo so shibori is a method of dyeing fabric and the few times that I've seen people do it it's custom and it's hundreds and hundreds of dollars wow. per roll this is only $35 a roll oh awesome that's awesome yeah, pricing for really wallpaper great. 
This project is pretty simple. We're measuring out a five by five inch grid pattern and painting over the lines using a flat paint, then dry brushing the cross lines inside each square. To create the dyed fabric looking edges on the shibori pattern, we're using a spray bottle and misting water onto it, allowing the paint to bleed a bit. It's crazy easy, impossible to mess up, and I mean, come on, how cool does that look? All right, it's time to get our new floor down. Before we lay the boards, my carpenter sidekick, Matt and I, are putting down the underlayment. It's an optional step when dealing with the subfloor, but it really helps with any minor imperfections in the subfloor, ensuring an easy peasy installation. So we are going with a wow. wide plank, click and lock laminate. Okay. I love that it actually has wood grain texture in it. Feel it. It looks more custom, like, you know, high-end flooring, and it also is gonna be a breeze to install. I mean, between the three of us, we should have this installed in, what, hour or so? Hour, 45 minutes. Okay. I say an hour, he says an hour, 45. <laughs> Can you tell who's like, come on, come on. <laughs> Honestly, Matt's usually right. It's an easy process that will still take us some time. It could be a late one tonight. What I love about this floor is that it's click and lock. It snaps in by hand. You just have to make your cuts around the edges of the room and make sure your boards are staggered. You're good to go. I'm really freaking tired. <laughs> but I promised them new flooring, five projects. This room is going to be epically transformed. And I might look a little tired when it's done. Flooring last night took a little longer than we thought. Matt and I kind of had this running joke of like, he says five minutes, it means an hour. I say take an hour, he says it'll take two. On this one, he was right. Our Sunday morning begins with getting our awesome shibori wallpaper hung. It turned out amazing. All that style only cost us like $35 a roll. All right, so I promise you we're not building a fence. Yeah, it looks like it. We're just using fence posts. Okay. okay. What we're actually gonna work on now is your custom headboard. Cool. I'm really excited about this project. It's something I've never tried before, and I think it's gonna look really, really great in the room. Awesome. So this piece of plywood is going to act as the base for your headboard. We're gonna use these cedar fence posts, and we're actually gonna cut them into little slices and kind of cover this. But it's gonna sound a little abstract now, so let's cut them, okay. and then I'll actually show you. All, All right. First, we've got to cut the fence posts into small pieces, varying in thickness from one to three inches. Next, we're staining them with Minwax's weathered oak to really make the grain pop. So what we're going to do is take all these and see how they have, you know, our different depths. Yeah. Do you see how when I put them together, it kind of like is gonna be coming out of the wall yeah. a bit? If we had done them all flat, would be cool, but to add little step downs by a quarter inch is really gonna add something extra to this. What we're using is a little bit of subfloor adhesive, and we'll put one nail in each, and we'll kind of just fly down. Okay. Okay. So tell me a little bit about this. This was like a family friends piece yeah. that they gave to you guys. When we, when I found out I was moving to Charlotte, I didn't have anything. Um, and so they asked if we wanted this dresser. And so it's been with me from Pittsburgh to Charlotte and. Kind of part of your story. A bit. Yeah, yeah, it's been around for a while. That's cool. Yeah. And you're sure that this is cool with the family, right? Yeah, I double checked and I think we're good to go. All right, so we're gonna upcycle this piece. And when I'm thinking of upcycling furniture, usually it takes three things. First thing we need is a sander. Second thing is really good high quality paint. And third thing is new hardware. Wow, that's really pretty. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I love it. It's super important to get a smooth surface on your furniture before you paint. Then do two coats with nice, even brush strokes for a polished finish. So Casey mentioned that she's seen me kind of upcycle hollow core doors before. She thinks I'm just painting her doors right now, but come on, would that be Monica Weekender style? I don't think so. I have a really cool, simple project in mind. To give the door some much needed personality, I'm simply attaching half inch molding horizontally across the face with wood glue and then tacking them into place. I love how with just a tiny bit of time, some paint and about $20 in wood, these doors are going from like really generic to kind of modern and custom.
All right, guys, we have put in a lot of work this weekend, and are you guys ready to see it? Yeah, yeah for right. sure. When I say three, open your eyes to your new master bedroom. Right. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, oh my, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is this absolutely is, incredible. Is this the same room? My goodness. Look at the headboard, Josh. That, that is, is so cool. I know. It's hard not to be speechless. This is absolutely amazing. It looks like a completely different room. I'm like... And remember that used to be a hole in the wall? It was a hole in the wall. <laughs> and and look at the doors. Yeah, everything is wow. just completely better. Look at the dresser over there. Yeah, that's... That's the same doing. dresser that we started with? Yeah, yeah same oh thing. Yeah. That's amazing. The, the wallpaper, just... Even look at the floor. Anywhere you look, <laughs> it's yeah. like completely different. This was fun to work with you guys this weekend. It really was. You guys, you know, you're DIY savvy. You're willing to take risks. Well, I think we'll leave the door open now. <laughs> yeah, <definitely. laughs> People can come in and see. But definitely, it's this is room to show off now, not just to hide. Can we like hug you? Can I hug yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. This weekend I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, working on a space that a lot of times gets forgotten and ignored. The foyer, also known as the foyer, if you're fancy like that. Do I need to roll up with me? So I don't really dig heights, but in this situation, I'm gonna have to climb that scaffolding. I can't make the homeowners do it. I'm just hoping I can kind of play it cool. Jeez! <laughs> that is not fun. Are you loving The Weekender? If so, click like and subscribe to the Lowe's YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified when the next episode drops. And then I challenge you to become a Weekender. You can get started on our hub at Lowe's.com. We have how-to videos, step-by-step -step guides, and project lists for every episode. If you need a little more inspiration, check out my boards on Lowe's Pinterest page. We have mood boards, alternate styles, and you can pin your favorite projects. Thanks, guys.